Hello, viewers. I'm SB. And this is Mike. And welcome to Starship Titanic. I've been, like, really, really excited uh, for three whole days since I found out that this was on GOG uh, to get this on the channel because this game is so weird and nobody knows about it. So uh, this is a, an adventure game. This is... There's sort of like two schools of adventure games. There's like the LucasArts adventure games and then like the Zork style adventure games. And this is like the zenith of the Zork style adventure game, which means that it does in fact have a command line. We don't have our command line yet, but we'll get it soon. This is your house. Nice digs. Oh. This is your TV. <laughs> all right. And uh... you can see the movement is all like mist. That's what the actual game discs looked like. Mike, you can't. Are you just trying to jam the CD into a closed CD drive? Oh no. The a preview of things to come. Well, that's unfortunate. A preview of things to come. <laughs> the game starts when a spaceship lands on your house, and then things get weird. My name is Fintable. I am the doorbot serving on this the maiden voyage of the starship Titanic, the ship that cannot possibly uh, go wrong. Now, as you can see, the ship, this thing you see behind me, well, we've had a little accident. Don't worry, no harm done, just a little scratch to the paintwork, I think. Luckily, your house was quite soft. I realize this is a bit of an imposition, but we need you urgently. Will you help? Hello? Will you help? Hello? Oh, silly me. Oh, strange, deluded, benighted me. You'll need your personal electronic thing. We call it a pet. Here. Rather complicated, but I'm sure you'll figure it out. All you need to do now is type in yes, meaning that you will help, and we can get going. That's yes. Y-E-S. Yes, this is, this is your UI. <laughs> you have now been given a UI. Okay. If you were wondering what that big black space was for, is for this. I'm afraid we don't have time to footl around. Will you help? An odd way to spell it, but that will do fine. Okay. You won't regret it. Well, maybe you will, but let's get you on board anyway. Anything else you want to say or ask, just type. Not now, not now. We've got to get you on board. Oh, look. A nice picture of the sky above your house. How nice. You should take that with you, you know. Good. Now, it's, it's good. good. The way this trip is going, it may be the last time you'll ever see that particular view. Come on. So if you notice that uh, Fentable was behaving rather strangely there, that's part of the plot. He's He is definitely acting strangely. <laughs> Sometimes a thing is weird in an old void, game. You see, but the ship has, well, it's lost its mind, and so has most of its crew, including me, <laughs> though I do have my lucid moments. I only wish I knew if this was one of them. I feel like he should have led with that. Oh, look, things are going from bad to worse. I can't even find the buttons now. Can you help me? Top button. Terribly sorry, it's my cell point settings, you see. Well, I don't suppose you do see, but it is my cell point settings anyway. Embarkation lobby. Going up. Human being, isn't it? Yes, well, of course, one's heard mixed reports. I just hope that you can sort out these problems, because none of us can. We're all 
robots you see, and what's happened is that the ship's central intelligence has been lobotomized, sabotaged, if you ask me, and it's left us all unable to function properly, and you may find that we're all a little doolally. I know that I am. So it's all going to be up to you. As soon as we reach the embarkation lobby, press the button on the plinth, and we'll be on our way. Then go and see Marcinta. She's the desk bot, and a bit of a dragon when her settings are wrong. She'll check you in. All I've managed to secure for you is a super galactic traveler class room, but I'm sure you'll manage. You can always ask Marcinta for an upgrade, but be ready to duck. You'll meet Craig the Bellbot, who should take you to your room if he's functioning properly. Then once you've settled in and made yourself comfortable, you'll be able to get on with working out what's gone wrong and fixing it. Here we are. I think we're about to take off again, but I'm sure that nobody's in control. I'd better go down again to secure things, but I'll be back a bit later to help you if I can. I hope you understood most of that for all our sakes. Good luck now. Good luck. Don't forget to press the button. So here we are, the actual... The actual place. Okay. Uh, what I was saying before was sometimes things are weird in old games just because the game is old and things were weird in the past. Uh, things are weird here on purpose. <laughs> Press button for opening credits. Sure. crash in a surprisingly oh. upright position. Okay, so the, uh, hold up, before you before you go interacting with anything, feel free to look around, don't click on stuff for a second. <laughs> uh, <laughs> just so that everybody's clear on where we stand. I have played through the entire game before probably three or four times, but the last time I did it was, like, five years ago. So it's, it's a little dim in my memory. And uh, your experience with adventure games is what? Um, <clears throat> I played through like the Mist games and a number of other things when I was younger, but it's been a it's been a while since I've played a adventure game, especially one of these uh like older style games. And you've re you've recently played through the first two rooms of Grim Fandango as well. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So so there is that slightly acclimated. The personal electronic thing here at the bottom, you've already pretty much figured it out. There's five modes on the right there. Uh, we'll we'll figure this thing out in more detail as we go on. Some of this is intentionally a little vague. Huh. So here we have our, our inventory, our personal baggage, which is just that picture that we took. Please do not throw it away. We need it. <laughs> ah, okay. Well, boy, they uh, started me pretty low then, I guess. Yeah. Let's see if we can maybe get a little bit of service here. Oh, okay. Welcome, guest number uh, one to the most glamorous galactic cruise ship experience in the whole of the space-time continuum, the Starship Titanic, the ship that cannot possibly go wrong. Ha! My name's Drubish. Marcinta Drubish. I am the desk bot. 
Do you have a reservation? So uh, throughout most of the game, we're going to have to talk to people to solve various problems. People, there's no people. We're going to have to talk to robots to solve various problems. Uh, so there's this whole text parsing conversation engine developed uh, in cooperation with Douglas Adams. And of course, all of the text and character dialogue and stuff was also written by Douglas Adams. Uh, the Starship Titanic is actually mentioned very briefly in one of the Hitchhiker's Guidebooks. It's like a two sentence throwaway thing. And then they decided to, he decided he wanted to expand on the idea into a video game. And so here we are. All right. Well, let's try being honest, because I bet that'll work. I thought not. But I see that Fentable thinks we should take you on board. Ha, huh, soft hearted fool. I don't see that you're going to be any help. As far as I'm concerned, you're just a freeloader. Ah, well. Better get you checked in. What sort of breakfast would you like in the morning? Continental or the full porky? I like pork. Yeah, I think that's a good choice. Huh. That's where choice. I was going to go, too. Newspaper? The Baronton Bugle? The Trumpet? Saxophone? Kazoo? Oh. I really would like to wake okay. up to the sax. How do you like your room? With a view? Okay. Corner of what? or balcony? Uh, hmm, I assume choice. space? Imperial? Royal? Presidential? Despotic? I like that you went for balcony so that we have a nice view from above of space. Yeah, I think that's important. You want to get, get the good side. Um, Benevolent? Yeah, one has to assume. <laughs> one has to assume despots get the best. <laughs> Well, let's um, let's not lay it on hmm, too thick. Good choice, fish. Come on, only you know. Yes or no? Thought so. Separate or en suite? Good. Well, you certainly won't like the room you've got then. You've been assigned to Super Galactic Traveler Class, Elevator Three, Floor Thirty. Room 12. And don't come whining to me for upgrades because you won't get one. Craig! Bellbot, to the embarkation lobby. Hi, I'm Craig. I'm your Bellbot today. Hey, I see you're not carrying any luggage. That's great. I can take a little time off right away. And I see you're super galactic traveler class, so I guess you can find your own way to your room. The door's over there. The elevator's around someplace. Relax, stay cool, enjoy. Yeah, we're not, uh, Super Galactic Traveler class is basically steerage. <laughs> All right, well. Doors yeah. in the wall. Bing bong. Okay, so we have to... We regret to announce that the ship is hurtling out of control through hyperspace. Any passengers with insurance queries, please refer to your ticket vendor. At this point, it might be a good idea. Uh, how much do you know about spaceships? Um, that seems like a loaded question. <laughs> uh, they're ships, so they should have engines and stuff. Yeah, I think that's a reasonable guess. Um, that is a long way down. It really is. Uh, okay. S what, what just happened? Is this a, a, ro a rotating ship? Maybe? I'm pretty sure we walked a 180 degree ramp and are now upside down from where we previously were. Yeah, that's the, uh, that's the impression. Which I I'm guess is just. Well. I guess that's just an efficient use of space. In space. Well, that's. different. 
We've been on the ship for three minutes, and you've already gotten us lost. Well, it's a big ship. Uh, hi. Or not. <laughs> All right. Well, that's... There are some these uh these glass panes in the wall are uh, doors. Oh, I don't feel well. Oh, okay. Sort of old school style. Nope, nothing interactable. <laughs> Um, okay. The Mega Scuttler is now armed and preparing to explode. This will be a fairly big explosion, so please stand back about 22 miles. Countdown commencing now, 1,999. Okay, well, maybe I shouldn't have done that. 98. 997. Okay. 996. That's, you know, a thousand seconds. That's like... Well, we have a couple of minutes to look around. <laughs> okay. Um... 994. 993. 992. 991. 990. Uh, okay. So far, Mike. 88. Nine hundred and eighty-seven. Oh. Nine hundred and eighty-six. Sort of like yeah. Nine hundred and eighty-five. Nine hundred and eighty-four. I feel like there should be something I can do about this. Nine hundred and eighty-two. Oh, that. Nine hundred and eighty-one. Nine hundred and eighty. Nine hundred and no, that's it right there. 978. 977. All right, well, we'll come back to that. This seems less pressing. 975. 974. Okay. 973. So, have I been in here yet? 972. Yes. Yep, that's where I ruined everything. 971. You've been in all three of the little rooms now. Okay. Well. 969. Maybe, uh. Maybe there's a clue somewhere else. Yeah, we've got time. By the way, I noticed. So you notice what? All right, I can't go in the water pools. What? Oh, that's a bleeding maiden boy! More like a bleeding disaster, if you ask me. Whoa, what do we hit now? What do we hit now? Oh, man. Oh, there we go again. Hit something else now, have we? What do you expect if a ship's got no brain? Questions? Questions? No point in talking to me. I'm just a parrot. Get up, get up. I want to be alone. Super annoying. I'm so glad you've done everything that you've done so far. <laughs> well, he seems to have calmed down. Don't do you any good. Won't do me any good. Which is more to the point. Don't you 
chickens in there! Okay. Well. Goodbye, bird. <laughs> but, of course, we know that this was a valuable and important thing to do because it changed the state of our inventory. <laughs> I will. Alright. So, that's that door. Those are some other doors. That's the elevator to the outside, I think. Build room. Going down. Of course, that bomb is not... still counting. So, like, maybe this is That's a bad true. idea. <laughs> yeah, a thousand seconds. A thousand seconds is like an eternity. Build room. It is very loud in here. <laughs> talk to it. It's just sad. Is it good or bad that all the engine noise has stopped? I mean, I made a lot of bad decisions by getting on this boat. Probably the less <laughs> yeah. far away it gets from Earth, the better it is for me. Well, the noise is, uh, seems actually to be it. So, something's clearly broken. Alright, well. We've got a room somewhere. Yep. I assume... Up those stairs, back in the other place. No, that's not... <laughs> He managed to uh, go all the way around the room, back into the elevator. I wanted to... It's gonna, yeah, it's gonna take you a moment to get the hang of navigating the ship. It has some, uh... Okay, I just can't get in that elevator. No, okay. yeah, the, the other one. Yeah, I don't, I don't believe there's any way to interact with that. Okay. I think I was... Yep, this is the bird. I figure he it's all back. Cheery uh... then, Buster! Missing you already? Oh, I don't think. Ha <laughs> ha! Squawk! Alright, Mikey, slow your roll here, man. Alright. Nope. Passengers of your class are not permitted to enter, enter this area. Okay. We are oh. not members of the space bourgeoisie. Okay, I thought that looked like a hallway, but, well, maybe it is later. It's a very tall ship. Yeah, sort of, uh, sort of oddly shaped, really. That is an unlit. Well, maybe. There is off limits to passengers in general. All right, can't go there. I am. Um... Turns out passengers of our class are not allowed in most parts of the ship. All right. Well, we might have to finagle an upgrade here soon. The fact that we're not allowed in the parrot... The fact that we're allowed in the parrot room probably speaks uh, pretty poorly of the parrot. Elevator three. Uh, this is this is our elevator, right? Um... There's a call button on your... You see your... Uh, ah. Yeah. If you, if you move back up to it. Is this uh, this middle mode on your personal electronic thing is how you interact with the various objects Thank on the ship. Thank you, sir, Madam All Thing, and a great deal better than some of the days we've been having recently. Indeed, my old trouble has quite cleared up, so that it will be a pleasure to attend to your vertical transportation requirements. All right. Do you happen uh, to remember what floor I'm on? Yeah. No, not offhand. Ah, oh, here we go.
I'll go to my stateroom. Let's do that. Wait, why are there other elevators running? I am the only guest on this ship. An interesting question indeed. Here is your floor, sir. Okay. Um, maybe... How do I stop the bomb? Still worrying about that bomb, are we, sir? Thought so. <laughs> He's really taking it in stride. <laughs> well, I... Yeah. I'm on floor 30. Uh, which room? Uh, room 12. I'm sleeping. You found your room. <laughs> yep. Um, let's... Oh. Please do not enjoy. Okay. So do that's... That is someone else's room. Well, we're not allowed to enjoy that. Um... Can't quite read these num number plates. That's 11. Maybe? No, that's thing. You'll see it. Uh... Oh, please let me talk to this. Okay. It's a uh, lounge or something. <laughs> huh. So if you uh, if you click down to the fourth, the fourth uh, mode on your thing. Yep. I think if you click on the thing on the far right, your current case. Into a room, it will probably tap you. <laughs> Breaking up just a little bit. here. We'll draw on here. I've fiddled with my microphone a little bit. Hopefully it will uh, behave a little better. Whoa. I agree. <laughs> Please place food source. Um... All right, well, we'll come back to that. We're not hungry yet. We have a bomb to deal with. Isn't it funny how that's always when you feel the hungriest, though? Oh, that's right. This dude is... 
So. All right, so we got to figure out where where room twelve is here. Yes. Huh. All right. Okay. Well, this is four, and the one next to us is five, and the one at the end is six. So did I end up on the... Can I exit the other side of the elevator? You cannot. Okay. That, uh, that room you can see on the other side of the glass is reached by a different elevator entirely. But uh, if you'll notice, there are some... Uh, some rooms above the rooms that we were looking at. Ah... Because it turns out they really pack them in down here. <laughs> Alright, well, getting up there... Okay. Oh, good. The parrot's here. That's 13 up there, that's 14. Eight. Fifteen. All right, so way on the other side here. Yep. Sixteen. So I missed slightly. Access vertically intermediate portals via minor elevators. So, okay, is this a minor elevator? <laughs> For emergency long stick smash glass. Well, we don't have anything, I think, with uh, glass smashing capability. not the uh this is not the elevator i i think <laughs> yeah i'm pretty sure <laughs> i believe the uh if you look to your right you can see the uh the doors the upper doors are right above those tubes Yes. Oh. Yeah, I think you have to you have to step up to the door and then turn. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> Congratulations! You may have already won an upgrade. Please turn to channel three for details. Okay. Sounds promising. It does. Operate a visual entertainment device. Hmm. Okay. Uh. Well, can I flowers? Hey, look at that. I can. It's not all bad. All right. So stuff is in here. Kind of tight, probably. The major semi-recumbent relaxation device. Okay, so... I can't have the... Uh, oh, I can't have the bed out. There's a speaker. No. Uh, the personal maintenance hub? I think that's probably a toilet. Uh, there's a toilet over here. <laughs> the... I'm sorry, you mean the comfort workstation. Ah, I can... <laughs> it's a horizontal work surface. Executive horizontal work surface. All right. I can deploy the minorly horizontal... No. Okay. <laughs> 
Oh, good. Well, listen, nobody, nobody can say that they didn't really pack in the amenities here for the Super Galactic Traveler class passengers. Okay. I should be able to get the TV out now. But how are we going to reach the controls, Mike? Um, I, don't, I really don't feel like the room is that tall, but... <laughs> for, for the sake of argument... Um, all right. Well, let's put the tiny chair back, because that, that can't be useful. And now that we've gotten that thing out of the way... Uh, whatever, what was that? That was... The, uh, the Mondrian painted on the wall here is helpful in that it, it, it helps you figure out which components of the room are which. Yeah. It's, it's not just here for our enlightenment. That wasn't the bed, though. That was the bed. It seems like you would um, maybe fall off of that if you tried to lay on it. It is leaning awfully far forward. Shoot, I don't actually remember what I clicked on that opened that. Um, <laughs> Who opened which thing? My, was it this? The, uh, the thing that swung down. The, the executive work surface? I think is that thing next to the chair there. Well, that's my fancy that's executive your... work surface. Uh, that's the visual entertainment device. And that is the minor horizontally mobile storage compartment. Of course, everybody needs one of those. Okay, well... Alright, so you can't... open anything on that left side... with any of those things deployed. Assume... yes. So if I put this away... For a moment. Um, can I flowers? I can't flowers. <laughs> you can flowers. It'll help calm you while you figure out how to operate your room. All right. So if I have my um, my aqueous receptacle out, can I deploy my recumbent relaxation device. Yes, I can. Now I can deploy my monitor. Can't To a certain extent, I'm going to I'm going to be attempting to play devil's advocate, you know, support the game in its logic. This puzzle's a little is a little silly. Okay. So Nope. All right. Well, seems to have gotten stuck. That's um, that's promising. Ugh. <laughs> All right. I think it's still still not uh, still not looking like it would support very much weight. So we just give it a little bit of a uh, little bit of head support. Yeah, one of these. It's just not to scale. Okay, there's my bed. Yeah. Now. Okay. Thank you. Uh, the bed will currently, if you uh, if you click again, it they have a, I give you a message at the bottom of the screen there. Yes, that the bed will not currently support my weight. 
And apparently, at some point during the translation to modern monitors, we lost the second line of text. That's really too bad. Uh, it's okay. Right. It probably wasn't important. So you're gonna have to uh, you're gonna have to get it supported a little bit more. All right. Where is the? So when was this again? Ah, oh, okay. That's what's that's what's going on there. It turns out to be slightly against galactic law uh, to not provide people with a toilet. Well, I don't think having that out is hurting anything yet. Um, that I already have out. Okay, maybe it is causing problems. So if you're closed... All right, we're never going to... This, <laughs> this bomb is going to go off, and we're going to be fr fiddling with furniture. Um, I like the bomb. It adds a nice sense of urgency. Yeah. This is what urgency looks like, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> Just, okay. So, I need more support. Yep. I don't actually know how to get some of these things deployed. So either I'm already in the wrong order or it's this chair. And the chair seems easier to check. So we'll do that. And we'll do that. And then we'll do that. And then we'll do that. As easy as turning on a TV, right? Yeah. Okay. Uh, you're going to have to, yeah, I think, dial this thing to the television controls around here somewhere. Okay. Channel one. There's currently nothing available for your viewing pleasure on this channel. Okay. That's a, I think I believe that was a stylized seven. Yeah. Super Galactic Traveler, this could be your luck, luck, lucky day. Yes, you may already have won an upgrade to second class and a whole new world of luxury. You may collect your complimentary in-flight magazine from the succubus in your SGT lobby. If the coupon on page two has lucky number 35279 on it, then you are just one step away from a travel experience most bipeds can only dream about. All Take right. the magazine to the embarkation lobby, and our helpful desk staff will delight in upgrading you. Okay, well, I'm glad I have this pencil and paper next to me <laughs> <laughs> they say it's going to be a whole new world of luxury that most bipeds can only dream of but honestly could it be more efficient than the room we have now I don't think so I would be very surprised